go through the steps we took. How did you get this? You just looked at it, right? Yeah, I put them in order. Okay. Um, which comes first here between a negative eight? If you had to put them on a number line, like we we'll put the number line here and here's zero. Put all the numbers on there. One is on this side, negative one's on that side. Yeah. Right, right. So I agree with these three. Two and five would really go for on so that these side. Are yeah, you just have to figure out which, where would those go. They'll go on the negative side. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and place them. Like I would say that the two goes there and the five goes there. Three, right? Oh, yeah, where would this one and this one go? On the negative side. Okay, go ahead and place them. Where is the, this side of the negative? Yeah, so a five would go there. Yeah. That's the negative five. And then eight would go here. And that's exactly right. And so we just have to have the minus signs there. That's perfect. Now, You were able to see that these were 50% 67. What did you do to figure out for three fifths? Divided. Mm -hmm. And so, where does three fifths go in this group? It goes right here. Well, in the middle. In the middle, right. Yes. Okay. And then, when we have this one, what do we do first? We do it. So we have 3 times negative 12, that's uh, 4. 4. Got the negative 12, yes. You get 8 minus 12. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what did we figure out 8 minus 12 was? Negative 4. Negative 4. Then we plug that in there, because it still came out to be, what, negative 4 over 2? Negative 2? Yes. That's terrific.